and welcome to GuitarControl.com. My name is Robert and I'm here to give you the classic, classic riff, Riffapalooza that is Space Truckin', of course, by Deep Purple. And, uh, you know, Richie Blackmore just, just kills it as always. And so many cool and just fun riffs. Now we're going to cover all the main riffs and we're going to dive into that little solo that he does that has all kinds of little, like, nuggets of goodness in it. Even the... Oh. Yeah, just so many cool things that Richie Blackmore does in that song. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're even going to cover that little keyboard part in the beginning because it's such a cool riff. Um, now there is another part where the keyboard part is happening. Uh, there's another guitar part. But we're just going to focus on that keyboard section. So um, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this one. And if you'd like tabs for this lesson, they are over on the website that is down below in the description for that link and let's just go ahead and get started all right so let's dive right in this one now there's not a whole lot going on picking wise so my hands kind of out of the picture i want you to focus on the left hand and it starts out by all power chords so no reason for chord charts power chord is just two notes you can do three if you'd like that octave in it i just do the two two note version which is just third fret low e string and fifth fret on the a Okay, and I like to use my pinky. Now I slide up to, I go to five and seven. Then you're gonna move down a string to five and seven on the A and D. Three and five. Then you do an A five, which is just open A, second fret on the D. So. Then you go back to third fret A string, fifth fret A string. Then you go third to fifth again. And that's basically that whole intro riff. So you have. Basically, what's happening with the keyboard section now? The um, the guitar actually comes with this riff. It starts over, and it's like your typical kind of like blues, uh, you know, like little shuffle. So you're just holding down fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret. I'm sorry, fifth fret on the low E, seventh fret on the A. And then you uh, keep oh, your fingers where they are, and you take your pinky and you go to uh, ninth fret on the A. So you go. Now you're going to shift down. So it's the same shape. I'm just 3rd fret on the A now, 5th fret on the D, and I'm going to 7th fret on the D. Okay. And you move up, and you're going to go uh, same strings, 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D, and ninth fret. So you have... What that little transition there is, is just another power chord, just an E5. Which is just simply going 7th fret on the A, 9th fret on the D, and 9th fret on the G. Now we're using like the three finger version. So I simply just pick straight down at 7, 9, 9, 9. Then you simply kind of bar your fingers, so you're going to hold down 7 on the A and the G now. So it goes 7, 9, 7. And into this super super awesome riff which is just open a string two one open on the d then you go three two one on the a so. all you do is move everything up a string so you go low e string open and then you go two one open on the a and three two one on the low e and that little build up there uh the walk up just open low e one two three and they do it quite a few times in the song you'll hear a bunch of We have all those parts now, 
and uh, there's really only a couple other riffs left. So it just goes back into the... <laughs> everything that we just did. So we have those, and then it goes into this um, little solo section. I go... Now the solo is pretty much all out of box one out of A minor pentatonic. Some of these notes are not, they're kind of out of Dorian and stuff like that, but we're just going to focus on our A minor pentatonic shape, which goes like this, 5-8 on the low E, 5-7 on the A, 5-7 on the D, 5-7 on the G, 5-8 on the B, and 5-8 on the high E. So. so we have those going on. And uh, basically it starts out with this little 5 slide to 7 on the E. So 5 slide to 7 on the D and then you're going to play 5 on the G and it's like got a little bend on it. You're kind of bending from minor 3rd to major 3rd. Okay, so we have... And this is just 5, 7 on the D played. Bend that 5 again on the G. Back to 7. Okay. And you bend um, eight on the B up a full step. And you're gonna bend it again. It's a really cool little run here. So this is bending eight, then you play five on the high E, and then you go uh, eight five on the B, then you go eight seven five on the G. Then you're gonna go to seven on the D, then seven five on the G, seven five on the D. Okay. Then you go back to that seven on the D. So. Then you're gonna simply go to um, bend that five again, and then seven again on the D. Now we have this little slide. That now this part is simply going three slide up to five on the high, on the B. Then you play five on the high. Now you do it three times, and on the fourth time he does this. So. And he's got this little ghost note. It's kind of like, almost like a chicken picker. You know, but I don't think he's using his finger. I think he does it all with his pick. Um, so. What we do here is you're gonna slide you get the five, then you have to play basically this G on the fifth fret kind of muted, where you really don't want too much of a note. It's just there for like a percussive kind of feel. So it's like the G muted, then eight on the B, the G muted seven, and then G muted five. Okay, and then you're gonna I move up to the D and I mute it, and I play seven on the G, and then five, so back to that 7 on the D, so... You then you've had been another um, 8 on the B. And you're doing a very similar uh, kind of like descending run to the other one. This one is kind of harder to hear, the way that the notes all bleed together. But it's basically just a pentatonic. Idea. So I'm just bending 8 on the B. And then 5. And then you go 8, 5 on the B, then 7 on the G, so we have, okay. Then I go back 8, 5, and then 7, 5 on the G, 7 on the D. That's pretty much the song. There's only one other part. It's that big build-up section. So there's like this big music break, and then they just go. And it's very chromatic. So it's just four on the D and G. So it's open low E. And you have four on the D and G. Five. And you just walk. 
walk all the way up to the 18th fret, and you, you'll hear it in the song, the rhythm and all that stuff, and then it goes back to the... Now, if you guys dug this lesson, you would totally like our Ultimate Song Collection, which is right here. You can click on your screen and check it out. It has over 150 songs in it, all broken down, very, very detailed, even more so than what we kind of went through today. You have your tabs, your chord charts, if they're strumming, it's literally like strum by strum. You can just learn everything there is about the songs. There's 150 of them to learn. Now, if you want to check it out and you're on your phone, have no fear. Second link in the description. You can check that out. You've got your iCard screen right here. We've got, we got you covered. So hope you guys go check that out and I'll see you next time.